<laughs> Did Tia almost get you? <laughs> so what I've been doing for a while now is training for world long drive competitions. And recently I just started coming off my injury, a YouTube channel called Bubby Golf. And that's what I hope to do to really make money and provide for myself after school. And I am the head men's golf coach at Miami University. This is my 12th season as a coach, but this is my first, this is still my first head coaching job. Uh, I'm a D1 varsity athlete on the cross country and track team. I also honestly just run because it makes me happy. You know, I'm gonna assume that everyone's doing the best that they can at, at the limits of what they know. I really only have one aspiration in the sport of long drive, and that is to be the best in the world at it. I want to be the world long drive champion. I want to have that belt. I want the check that comes along with it as well. And I know I can't accomplish it. And the best part about it is I want to be the little guy that does it. Coming in freshman year, I want to be an All-American. But because of all my injuries, I am not able to do that. Um, you know, a typical college player, you're going to see around anywhere from 105 to 1, you know, I would say even 110. 110-ish, maybe a little higher. Pre-injury this summer when I was really training, um, I was swinging about mid to upper 140s, and every, every driving range session I'd eclipse 150 a few times. My highest club head speed I've ever recorded was 153. Uh, my mile is a 505 now, and my 3K is a 1010, which is about, it's, a it's 200 meters less than a two mile race. It used to be I was done at the range whenever I wanted to be done. It was kind of nice, didn't have any pain, no soreness. Could just go until, it was really more my hands gave out instead of my body. But now I know I'm done at the range whenever my injury right here starts to get a little tender, starts to get a little sore. My most recent stress fracture, which happened last spring, winter-ish, um, destroyed me mentally. If someone beats me at everything that I've got, then they, uh, they deserve it. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to give them a run for their money. Be patient and don't get deterred by the hardships and the failures because you need the failures to grow. Without the failures, the successes wouldn't mean anything.